Welcome back to the Void Podcast. Uh, the TNT crew just announced the NBA All-Star Reserves for 2024. Yep. So we piled together all the starters and reserves and some of the notable snubs, and we're going to uh, rank them on this tier maker site that other YouTubers use to go viral. Exactly. We wanted to do a it, we wanted to do a live reaction, but um, Miles decided to go to work. So I had to go to work, and then and then we bought YouTube Premium, watched it, and immediately canceled it. Yeah, so that was great. All right. Um, okay, let's start here. All right, Giannis, easy, MVP. easy MVP. Yeah. Boom. Joel Embiid, Embiid been an MVP. MVP. Do okay. We can also rank within here, so I would argue Embiid is in front of Giannis. Um, I would agree with that right now. Okay. I mean, Giannis is one, so that's big. But I think Embiid has a better chance of winning in the future. Yeah. Um, Tyrese Halliburton, not an MVP. I consider him a superstar. What would you consider him? Yeah, I think he's. I think he's not proven enough. I mean, yeah, he is. He the best player on a championship team? I think because that's be, like even a little lower than MVP. I think in five, six years he could be that. What is he right now? Do you think he's just an All Star right now? Um, like let's think about people who are better. Tatum, Tatum's, not an MVP. He's a superstar. But a superstar. Yeah. So it's like you have Tatum up here. And Tatum's better than Halliburton. All right, we can leave Halliburton in there. I mean, we can move stuff around later. Uh, Damian Lillard. I'm actually going to put him at reserve. That's where I, I don't think too. he should have even been an all-star. I think he's lucky to be a reserve at this point in his career, honestly. Yeah. Like, I believe, yeah, I don't even know if you, yeah. Okay, so Doncic, you could put him at MVP, but he's not better than Embiid, Jokic. He's not quite on that level. He's a superstar, for sure. Better than Tatum? I would take Tatum because Tatum has proven he can get to the finals. Okay, so we'll keep Doncic behind yeah. uh, behind uh, Tatum. Yeah. So LeBron, just All Star, or um, even reserve? Because you're making an argument that you think Kawhi's. I'd call him a reserve based on the status of his team. AD is the best player on that team, and they suck. Yeah, but LeBron's still better than than Lillard. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. All right, Durant, All Star. Yeah, based on the where the Suns are right now. And I'd have better than Halliburton. I no? I would have. Uh, I think I would have Halliburton above Durant. I think Halliburton guarantees more success for your team at this point. Like it, currently, you'd rather have Durant. You'd have, rather have Halliburton on your team than Durant. If I could have a healthy Halliburton or a healthy Durant for the next for the rest of the season for the next year, yeah, I would take Halliburton. Okay. Like if the Suns offered Durant for Halliburton, and you'd I was the that, Phoenix, I would make that trade. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Um, Shea, I put him at superstar. Uh. He's almost MVP. Yeah, I put him at superstar. Yeah, and I put him ahead of Luca also. Why? Because he wins. He fucking wins. He plays defense. But do you think he's more of a superstar? What do you mean by superstar? Because like obviously, you? like every you like factor in like how winning their team is, but then you also think about how good their play their team is. You know, so it's like. Would you think like roles reversed? Like, would Shea do better on the Mavericks than Doncic? Then that like brings into question like the system they play around. I think if you bring Luca to OKC, OKC is worse, not by much, but I think I think he is assist. He's you can build a system around him easier than Luca. Okay, so you think Shea, yeah, and then Luca, <clears throat> Jokic, obviously MVP, Easy. um, better than Giannis. Yep, yep, I would put him above Embiid as well. All right, even though Embiid's having a better season. Yeah. So I still, currently, I still think in the playoffs you want Jokic because he makes everyone around him better. Okay. So Jokic above MB. Yeah. He's the best player in the Cat world. Cat reserve. You call him reserve or not an all star? Do you think he's an all star? I think he's worse than Edwards. And Edwards is their all star. Let's leave him yeah, there. Let's leave him there because we have yeah. other guys that we're going to bring in. But right now, I'll put him here. Right. Um, Booker, Book, all-star. reserve. Yeah, he, reserve. He, he was the all. He he is an all star. He's an all star. Yeah. Okay. Um, Curry got a reserve spot, but what do you think about him being a reserve? Do you think he's low reserve or high not all star? I think he's a freaking high all star, bordering on superstar. Still. Yeah. You're you're making weren't you saying that you didn't know if you thought he should have been um I mean been, look at look at it this way. Are the Mavs significantly better than uh yeah, no, Golden they're, State they're right not. now? No. So how yeah, I think he's an all star. I think I think he, you can put him between Halliburton and Durant. Better than Durant. You'd rather have Curry than Durant? Yeah. Okay. 
Um, Edwards, all star, obviously. That's a good spot for him. I think. Right, yeah. better than Booker, worse than Durant. Yeah. Okay. Paul George, classic um, reserve, right reserve. behind LeBron, probably. All right. Kawhi, better than LeBron. I would put him. Would you put him in low all star. I'd put him right on one of the sides of Halliburton. I think. Really, he's having a fantastic season. So above above everyone else in the All Star, he's fucking winning too. Do you think he should be ahead of Halliburton? I haven't been watching any of the Clippers, so I don't know. Okay, I think I think he is like he should be ahead of Halliburton, honestly. So he's the best All Star. Right? He's the best so All Star right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, AD All Star, but where do we put him? Um, better than Booker. Better than Edwards. Better than Durant. Probably right there. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, Jalen Brunson, Jalen Brunson, Jalen Brown. <laughs> He's a reserve. Yeah. Um, better than Cat. I'd put him at the on one of the sides, LeBron probably. Oh, okay. Maybe right between them. That feels right. You know, he's I like his game right now. You think Paul George, Lillard, and Cat are all worse? Yeah, I'd rather have Jalen Brown right now. Okay, Randall. He's a reserve. Is he? What, you think he's an All Star? No, do you think he's? he's oh. Yeah, I, I don't like. We got to start filling out that category. And I don't. And like if he's going to be there, I don't know if he and Cat are significantly different players. Yeah, who's better though, Cat or Randall? I think you got to put Cat above Randall. Yeah, that, that feels right. Okay, so not an all star. We moved you down, Cat. Sorry about that. Um, Brunson, Brunson, he's all he's reserve, obviously. But is he all star? Did he get snubbed? I think so. I think he should have been a starter. So, is there yeah, anybody else in this row who has started? Um, no. No. Should he be a superstar? Not not quite yet. No. no, he's not a superstar. But above Booker. That feels right. Above Edwards. I think Edwards is better than Brunson. Do you see all, all of them being better than Brunson? Yeah. Yeah, yeah probably. Banchero, reserve, obviously. Bancaro. Bancaro. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, better than Lillard? Yeah, I think so. Right? Yeah. You think he moves up anymore or he's right there? I'd rather have Paul George right now, I think. Okay. Tyrese Maxey. I really like Tyrese Maxey. He's at least a reserve. The question is how high on the reserves. I would rather have him. I'd rather have him than, than Lillard. I think I would rather have him than, J- than Devin Booker. So you think he's better than everyone in the reserves? And Booker. Yeah, I'd rather have him than Jalen Brown. I'd rather have him than. I'd rather have him than all these guys? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Spider, that feels like a reserve. Probably. Would you rather have? I'd him? have him right behind Paul George. Okay. Then we got Bam. He's a reserve as well. I'd put him. He's kind. Of, he's the man on on the Heat right now. I'd put him right after LeBron. But I really love Bam. So, yeah. what do you think? Um. I feel like he got really hyped up. And I think Jalen Brown's really underrated because he's in like uh, Tatum's shadow. So I might actually keep Brown above him. That works. Um, Fox, reserve. He didn't get voted as a reserve. That's like the snub. Yeah. And next to Sabonis, who we'll talk about next. I think he's better than Tyrese Maxey, but I don't know if he's better than Jalen Brunson. So you, he's, you put him at all-star? Yeah. Okay. That's a big category, but I feel like that's where most of these guys are. Yeah, sure. Um, okay, Sabonis, so reserve as well. Better than Fox, though. I wouldn't say he's better than Fox. Um, he's higher on MVP voting. Yeah. I mean, you, I can see an argument for that. He should be right around there. I think right here is okay. You think yeah. Devin Booker? Although at the end, of, it's like, would you rather have Sabonis or Booker on your team is the question. I feel like everyone's taking Booker. So maybe. Right. Under there, yeah, he's probably Booker's no longer the worst. That seems about right. Scotty Barnes isn't an all star, he's not an all star yet. He's, yeah, he's probably better than Randall. Randall. Yeah, yeah, I'm from Toronto, so I like Scotty. He didn't make the all star list, the all star team or reserves. Um, he probably will because Randall is injured and so is uh Embiid, mm-hmm. so they have to move those guys. So he'll probably get into the reserve position, but only because people have to be pegged down. Yeah. Um, Trey, not an all-star, not an all-star player. Worse than Randall? Uh, hmm. So here's the question with Trey, right? So, like, Cat couldn't be the best guy on his team, and that team be good. Uh, Trey 
going can, to the finals. Conference finals. Con- yeah, he, conference he, finals. Can be, he can be on a team that's mediocre and sometimes really good if he's the best player. Um, is he better than Cat, you think? Would you rather have Cat or Trey on your team? I think I might rather have Trey. Would you rather, like Cat's you, just so like – You'd rather have Trey or Dame. Who do you think is a better offensive player? Because they both suck defensively. I think Dame's a better offensive player, but he's older. So it's like in the future. But right now, I think Dame's still working on the system. Like he hasn't fully gotten into it yet. Trey's been with the Hawks his entire career. So do you think he's he should be the best put him not up, all-star? Best not all-star, yeah. So move Cat behind him. Derek White isn't an all-star, but do you think he should have been a reserve? No, I think these guys are just better than him. I think he's... He's better than Scotty. I put him right between Scotty and Cat. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly, I probably got to put Scotty behind Randall as well. Okay. Even though I like him. But we can put Zion right behind Scotty. So, yeah. Okay. There we go. Lori. Lori Markin. And he should be right behind Dame, I think. But Utah is just not really impressive, right? No, but they've been playing really well like their last 10 or 15. Yeah. Okay. So, Markin in reserve. Gobert, not an all star, right? Yeah, this is an interesting one. But we have to put him behind Cat because how much Cat got reserved. How much does he bring to winning? Like, would you rather have Trey or Gobert on your team? You think you're gonna win more games with Trey or Gobert? Um, I feel like you're gonna win more games with Trey. Really? Just because it's like an offensive game, you know. So that also means though, like that how good you are in defense matters even more now because it's such an offensive game. But do you think if the, if the Hawks call up the I think if the Hawks the, the Timberwolves Hawks, and say we're gonna we can give you Trey Young for Gobert you think the Timberwolves are like okay it probably depends on the system like I think the two bigs are working really well that's why they're the best in the in the West you know um, but I don't know if like Trey was the man on the Hawks and brought them to the conference let's, finals let's just do you be, think Gobert can be the best player on an Eastern Conference contender um, I think he could be the second best player on a championship team. Which would be the same thing as Trey. But the question I, is, do you think Gobert goes here, to the West? Let's just do this, okay? If you were Boston, would you trade uh, Derek White for? Or if, I would if you're, keep, if you're I Minnesota. Would keep Gobert. I would you'd keep. T- Gobert. I would take Gobert over White. Would you keep Trey or Gobert? If you're the Timberwolves, I would keep Gobert. Would you? Trade, but does that mean that? He's would you keep Laurie? Over Gobert? Yeah. I haven't watched enough Laurie. What about Dame? I might have too much like. Um, historical bias. I feel like this is the spot for him. So you think he should have been an all-star over over Cat? Yes, I do. I think he brings a lot more to the game than Cat. Okay. And Cat's been great, but I think they win more with Gobert than they do with Cat. All right. Okay, so this is the tier list. Um, let's look at see where we where we sit. So Jokic is the best player in the league. Yeah. Embiid is a close second, and and Giannis is a close third. It feels like the right top three. Those are the best three players in the league. Tatum, Shea, and Doncic are the obvious next three best, and I don't think anyone else there is on their level. Would you put Shea above Tatum? No, not right now. They just haven't proven it yet. Yeah. They are doing better, but they haven't. Like Tatum's gone to the finals, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm okay with keeping Tatum there. Maybe in the future Shea gets better. And would you take any of these guys over Kawhi right now? Like on the on the All Stars, yeah. I don't think so. He's just such a good two-way player. And if he just isn't injured, he's like MVP caliber. Mm. Do you think Durant should be any higher? I haven't watched any Suns games, so I'm also going off of like past past examples. He's been great this year. They're just they're a 500 team. Yeah, also great on like a like not a bad team, like mm-hmm. on paper that is. I think this is a good enough list. I like it. I stand by it. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. for watching. Mash that subscribe button. Throw your hate in the comments. We don't below. just do politics, okay? Yeah, we do other stuff. Also, Jonathan Isaac, if you ever want to come on, come uh, on. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs>